Hello and welcome to Higher Ground Gaming. This is Eric. Today we're going to play another, we're going to play a, uh, not really a new series, but we're going to continue our 1978 season um, using Stratomatic Baseball. Um, the Red Sox were eliminated from the postseason by the New York Yankees, and the Yankees went on in our replay here to, uh, to defeat the Kansas City Royals by a score of three games to none to advance to the World Series. Um, and I was going to play this uh, National League. I was just going to fast play it, sim it up until the end of uh, September and, uh, you know, do the playoff series uh, for the NLCS. But um, I noticed as of the end of August that the Los Angeles um, Dodgers might have some, something going special here as they have won 89 games um, with a month to play still with uh, 29 games left. So... I decided to uh, play at least a few of the games. Not sure exactly how many we're going to play. I may play them all. I may play just a few. We'll see how it starts. And uh, if I can get into it and you guys like the series, um, I may just continue it, play the whole month of uh, September, and then do the uh, American League Championship, I mean, National League Championship Series, and then do the World Series. But regardless, I am going to do the, uh, the NLCS from 78. And um, just a matter of whether or not I'm going to play all the Los Angeles games um, or um, sim it. We'll see how it goes. Um, anyway, but again, if they if they only win 11 games out of the, uh, if they go 11 and 18 in the last uh, 29 games, then they'll win 100 games. So uh, based upon their pace so far, they, uh, they should have no problem with that. Um, as you can see here, they started off a little slow, nine and eleven, but since then they've been on a tear. Twenty-one and six in May, nineteen and ten in June, twenty and nine in July, twenty and eight in August. So if they continue that trend and go say like, like twenty and nine or nineteen and ten, something like that, then uh, then they'll then they'll easily win a hundred games. Um, Plus, so we'll see how many we can win, maybe. Um, in reality, the Los Angeles... Let's check here to see how many they actually won in the season. Um, let's see if I can get the scores here quickly up here on a, on baseball reference here. So I have to go to the uh, seasons here. Um, yeah, I'll go to the standings right here. Just give me a second here. But uh, yeah, they didn't win a even close to uh, even close to this. Yeah, they won ninety five games, so they only won. So in order to do that, they'd have to go six and uh, six and twenty three. So and I don't think they're gonna do that. So they'll definitely blow that victory total out of the water. We'll just see by how much. Um, Philadelphia would win over the Pirates by a game and a half. Right now they have a five-game lead. Um, there's a chance Montreal could do something. They're eight games out there within striking distance, as are the Cubs. So we'll see, uh, I'll see how that goes. Maybe we'll even play a few games there if that race gets tight. Um, either we'll play it as one of the teams or we'll, we'll sim it and uh, broadcast that too. If it get That could go down to the wire too. So, And in reality, it was the... Uh, it was the uh, Dodgers over the Phillies in the NLCS and then the Yankees over the Dodgers in the World Series four games to two. So without further ado, let's uh, play today's games. And uh, just make sure I have the uh, Dodgers set on manual here. Which I do not. So we'll set that to manual. And I will go through and make sure I am managing the Dodgers. So the Dodgers are going to be taking on the Mets. So let's sim the rest of the games from September 1st. And I think that's it. Let me make sure they're not playing a doubleheader. They are not. So again, probably won't show these all the time. Um, start it off like we do the Red Sox games. Like right here on the screen. So it's going to be Jerry Kuzman for the New York Mets going up against Doug Ra. Rao 
for the uh, Los Angeles Dodgers. Mr. Brody is the co-host from Purple Monkey there. Let's get this game underway. So, all right. So, Doug Ra on the hill for the Los Angeles Dodgers. He comes in with a 10-6 and six record so far in the replay. 4.12 ERA. 162 innings pitched. 192 hits allowed. 54 walks and 86 strikeouts and has surrendered 12 homers. So, the New York Mets lineup against Rao is going to be Len Randall, the Third baseman will bat first, followed by Elliot Maddox, the center fielder. Steve Henderson, the left fielder, will bat third. Willie Montanez, I think it's Montanez, yeah, the first baseman, it's cleanup, followed by John Stearns behind the plate. Joel Youngblood, the right fielder, will hit sixth, followed by, maybe that's Bobby Valentine. Bobby Valentine, the second baseman. Doug Flynn is at short, batting eighth, and Jerry Kuzman behind the uh, on the mound, we'll hit ninth as we are playing in a National League park, which will be a, another reason why I wanted to play it. So the pitchers will be batting. The defense behind Rao is going to be Dusty Baker in left, Bill North in center, and um, yeah, <laughs> the next Red Sox here. Uh, Reggie Smith, I thought of it before. I just couldn't name slip my mind when I was just going for it right now. Reggie Smith, the ex Red Sox in right. Ron Say. At third, Bill Russell at short. Davey Lopes from East Providence, Rhode Island at second. I think he's from East Providence. I know he's from Rhode Island. I think it's East Providence. Um, at second, and Steve Garvey, the first baseman. Joe Ferguson behind the plate. And it is, yes, East Providence, Rhode Island. Mr. Davey Lopes. So the defense of Baker and Smith are average at left and right. North above average range and center. Uh, Reggie Smith with the best arm in right with a minus three. Dusty Baker slightly above average in left and Bill North average in center. Bill North and especially Reggie Smith with a slightly high error rating in right and center and right. Baker shorthanded and left. Uh, in the infield, Bill Russell... Uh, say Russell um, just average on the left side of the infield with Lopes and Garvey um, above average excellent range in at second and first um, Bill Russell somewhat of an error error prone at shortstop Ron say slightly high error rating at third as well as Davey Lopes at second Steve Garvey um, fairly low error rating at first um, Joe Ferguson behind the plate with below average range, slightly above average arm, and Doug Rao with average range at set, uh, on the mound, and uh, above average at holding runners on. So Len Randall steps into the box. He comes in hitting 213 with 21 runs batted in. Rao looks in for the sign for Ferguson. He has to wind up in the pitch. And we have to make sure we... And that is going to be over to Garvey. And he's retired for out number one. That'll bring up Elliot Maddox. I just want to make sure that we are managing. Oh, yes. We need to be 
New York managing by the computer. All right. So that'll bring up Elliot Maddox. I remember him on being on the Phillies, I believe. Um, Elliot Maddox hitting 260 on the season with a homer and 14 runs batted in. Rao looks in for the sign for Ferguson. He has to wind up in the pitch to Maddox. And we off the six column. And that is going to be a base hit up the middle. As North throws it back in. So a one-out base runner for the Mets. And it brings up Steve Henderson. Henderson, 279 with seven homers and 44 runs batted in. Garvey holding on Maddox at first. Here's the windup in the pitch. And he gets a pitch. Henderson gets one in the wheelhouse here. And he misses it for strike three. So he had a pitch to hit there and missed it. So two down now for Willie Montanez. Montanez, 267 hitter with 11 homers and 70 runs batted in. Here's the pitch by Rao off the one column. And that's going to be a hit to Lopes. And it's going to go through for a single as Maddox moves to third. So run is at the corners. Mr. Brody gets himself repositioned in the co host seat there. We just got finished doing the game three of the uh, Yankees Royals series there, ALCS. So he's had a busy Sunday afternoon here. Right, Mr. Brody? Yes. But Mr. Brody wanted to do this Dodger, Dodger series too. He said he thought it would be a good idea. So John Stearns up now with runners at the corners. Chance to put the Mets on the board first. Stearns hitting just 225 with 11 homers and 50 runs batted in. Here's the windup in the pitch off the two column. And that's going to be a ground ball to Russell at short. Up with it over to Garvey. And that'll do it. So the Mets threaten but do not score. And after one half, it's New York nothing. Los Angeles coming up. So Jerry Kuzman on the hill. Kuzman having a horrible season, um, at least win-wise. Not getting much run support by the Mets. Just five and thirteen on the season. He, although he did only win, was only three and fifteen on the actual season. So he's got two more wins so far. Um, so faring a little bit better than he did on the actual season. A much better ERA with a 2.93 earn run average. 193 innings pitched, just 176 hits are allowed. 87 walks, three more than on the total for the whole season. And 118 strikeouts. And has surrendered only seven home runs, as he did 17 on the season in the actual season. So the lineup for the Dodgers is going to be Dave Lopes. Davey Lopes at second will bat first, followed by Bill North, the center fielder. Reggie Smith will hit third and play right. Steve Garvey, the first baseman, will bat cleanup. Ron Say, the third baseman, hits fifth, followed by Dusty Baker, the left fielder, batting sixth. Joe Ferguson behind the plate will hit seventh. Bill Russell, the shortstop, eighth. And Doug Ra on the hill will bat ninth. So the defense behind Kuzman is going to be Henderson left, Maddox in center, Youngblood in right. Henderson below average range and left with an below average arm. Maddox and Youngblood both with above average range and above average arms. And very short-handed and center and left. Henderson somewhat error prone and left. Randall, Flynn, Valentine, and Montanez in the infield. Randall and Valentine at third and second with below average range and pretty high error ratings. Flynn at shortstop average range with a slightly high error, well, pretty high error rating. Not quite as high as uh, as the shortstop uh, Russell for the Dodgers, but up there. And Montanez at first with excellent uh, excellent range and a very low error rating, similar to Steve Garvey. Darren Stearns behind the plate is average range with a slightly above average arm. And Kuzman on the hill with above average range, but with a high error rating. And... Also very good at holding runners on, as is Rao. So Lopes steps into the box, hitting 273 in the season with eight homers, 56 runs batted in. Here's the windup in the pitch by Kuzman. And that's going to be hit into the corner. That's going to roll around a little bit. Lopes rounds. Oh, actually, that's going to be hit. That, that one went foul, but this one's going to be hit into the gap between Henderson and Maddox. That'll go to the wall, and Lopes will be there with a leadoff double. So a good start for the Dodgers. So it'll be a Bill North. North hitting 233 on the season with 23 runs batted. A lot more production than he did on the actual. Only 10 RBIs on the actual season. Already has 23. 
So a chance to pick up his 24th here with a base hit. Lopes gets his lead off second. Cruz Mountain looks him back. He has the lineup in the pitch. That's going to be a ground ball to Flynn. Lopes will hold that second as Flynn fires to first for out number one. So that'll bring up Reggie Smith now. Reggie Smith having a fine season, hitting 262, but with 20 homers and 65 runs batted in. See if he can put the Dodgers on the board here. And that will be a ground ball to third. Randall up with it. Over to Montanez. As Lopes will hold at second for out number two. So that brings up the first baseman, Steve Garvey. Steve Garvey having a great season. Hitting 324. 14 homers and 87 runs batted in. And it looks like they're going to intentionally walk Garvey to get to Say. So let's see if Say can make them pay now. Say hitting 296 with 23 homers matching his total for the season. And that has got to be a miscue there. It says he only has 23 RBIs. So let's check out his card. See if his card says differently. Yeah. No, it says only 23 on there. Let's check. That can't be right. <laughs> so it looks like we found a typo in the uh, Stratomatic 1978 season possibly. As they can't be right there. That would be some kind of a record if it was. 23 RBIs and 23 home runs in the season. So let's check out Ron Say. Let's see. So for 1978, Ron Say did have 23 home uh, 23 home runs, but he had 84 runs batted in. So definitely a typo on the game there. So Stratomatic. Um, hopefully the game engine uh, is adjusted appropriately for that one. But again, it's an RBI thing, so uh, it wouldn't be evident on the card necessarily. Well, it wouldn't be. So he does have 93, 90 RBIs. Again, he had 84 on the actual season, not 23. So that's interesting there. So anybody from Stratomatic is uh, watching this game? It happened to be. Uh, he may have picked it up already by now, but Ron Say's card, at least for the uh, for the computer version, it's probably just the computer version though. Uh, shows 23 RBIs for 1978. Obviously, they just took the home run total and put it there by accident. So it's probably not part of the engine there. It's probably, again, like I said, it's not part of the engine. It's part just uh, an input error there. It does not affect the game at all. Well, shouldn't anyway. So anyway, first and second with two down. So Ron Say with a chance to get his 91st RBI, if not more. It's going to be off the four call. And it'll be a ground ball to short here. Not automatic. Let's see if Flynn can get, get to it. He gets to it, but can he handle it? And he does over to Montanez at first, and that'll do it for the Dodgers. So the Dodgers threaten but do not score. And after one full, it remains scoreless. So we're all back on the hill. He'll face Youngblood, Valentine, and Flynn. Youngblood hit, hitting 260 on the season with six homers and 26 runs bat in. Raul looks in for the sign. He has the wind up in the pitch. And he'll strike him out looking. I mean, swinging, sorry, for out number one. So one gone in the Met second brings it up. There he is, Bobby Valentine. Bobby Valentine, the future manager. Hitting 273 in the season with a homer and 13 runs batted in. It's going to be off the three call. And that's going to be a ground ball to short. Russell up with it. Over to Garvey for out number two. So that'll bring up the shortstop, Doug Flynn. Flynn hitting just 208 on the season with 26 runs batted in. Gets one to hit here, though. Gets one in the wheelhouse. See what he does with it. And this one is going to go over the head of North. That's going to go around and kick around. Flynn rounding second. Will reach third with a triple. So a two-out triple for Flynn. And the Mets are in position and scoring position. Good shape here with two well, with two outs, though. Let's see if uh, Kuzman can help his own cause here. So, again, his pitching. This is the pitcher card from Strat. So, the one column with anything, only thing that's anything good on it. So, it looks like he didn't get many hits, but when he did, it was a double. Uh, 
so far in the season. Looks like he doesn't have any at-bats, surprisingly. Not sure exactly what's going on with that. Uh, oh, he does get the one column, so there's a chance here to put the Mets on the board here. But he doesn't. He takes a called strike three. So Flynn's stranded at third after a two-out triple. We head to the bottom of the second with the Dodgers sending Baker, Ferguson, and Russell to the plate. Dusty Baker, also a future manager. 251 for the season with five homers and 58 runs batted in. A little less power than he exhibiting so far in the season, unless he has a hot September. So it's going to be out the four column. And that's going to be a range check on Stearns. It's going to be a pop foul, looks like. It looks like he will make the catch. And he does for out number one. So that'll bring up the catcher, Joe Ferguson. Ferguson hitting 251 on the season with 11 homers, 55 runs batted in. It's off the three column, and that's going to be a one-out walk. So Kuzman issues his second walk of the day. So that brings up Bill Russell, the shortstop. Russell out-hitting, outperforming his season. Part of the reason why the Dodgers are, have 89 wins so far. He's hitting 338, only hit 280, 286 on the actual season. 60 runs batted, and only had um, 46 on the actual season. So Montanez holding Ferguson on. Not a threat to run. Here's the wind up in the pitch. And that is going to be a fly ball to left. Henderson's there. And he'll make the catch for out number two. So to bring up Doug Ra. Ra hitting one hit 143 on the season with five runs batted in. Again, not much for hits off. No hits actually on his card. Just the one walk. And... Gets it off the pitcher's card, which is a good thing if you're a Dodger fan. However, he strikes out swinging for the third out. So the Dodgers aren't able to score, and after two full, it remains scoreless. So top of the order against Rao against by the um, in the third here. It's going to be Randall, Maddox, and Henderson. Again, not used to these lineup National League lineups here. At least not calling the game anyway. I'm used to the names, but just not calling them. So it's going to be off the sixth column for Randall. Grounded out in his first at bat, and he'll draw a walk. First walk given up by Rowe today. So Randall is a threat to steal. Garvey will hold him on. So that'll bring up Elliot Maddox, who's singled in his first at bat. And he's got a bunch of walks on this column, but does not find it as he flies out to center. Out number one as Randall scampers back to first. So we have Steve Henderson, who's strikeout victim his first time up. And he'll ground one to Russell at short. This could be two over to Lopes. One over to Garvey. And they turn two. And that'll do it for the Mets in the third. So we'll head to the bottom of the third. With the score New York nothing, Los Angeles nothing. Top of the order also for the Dodgers here in the third. It's going to be Lopes, North, and Smith if anybody gets on Garvey. Lopes doubled his first time up but was left stranded. And this time he'll ground out to third. Randall up with it over to Montanez. And for out number one. Bill North up now. Grounded out in his first at bat. And that's going to be a ground ball to Randall. Up with it over to Montanez for out number two. So two outs in the base is empty for Reggie Smith. Grounded out in his first at bat. And this time we'll strike out swing. Second K for Kuzman. And after three full, it remains scoreless. So we head to the top of the fourth. Montanez to lead it off for the Mets. Montanez singled in his first at bat. And this time he'll strike out swing. So four K's on the day now for Rao. 
Check out some scores here, as you probably already saw them anyway. But Chicago beating Houston 3-1. to Atlanta and Pittsburgh are scoreless. Cincinnati shutting out St. Louis 4-0. Montreal in front of San Diego 4-1. to Grimsley comfortably ahead for Montreal. Philadelphia shutting out San Francisco 4 nothing. So Stern's up now. Stern's grounded out in his first at bat. And that's going to be a ground ball. Range check on Garvey. Garvey very short-handed. Excellent range. Gets to it. Throws it to Rao covering for out number two. So two outs now. For Joel Youngblood, strike out, struck out his first time up. And this will be a range check on Reggie Smith. Average range. Oh, doesn't it's gonna drop in for a hit. Oh, we got a rare play here. Let's see what that is. Smith gets it back in. Oh, here we go. And he's nailed. Yeah, usually when it's a hit to the outfield and it's a single and there's a rare play on it, it's usually a throw behind the runner. And Smith is able to throw behind the runner. And Youngblood gets nailed. Uh, when he slips and falls as they throw behind him. So that'll do it for the Mets in the third. And after three and a half, it remains scoreless. So Garvey was intentionally walks, comes to the plate. He'll lead it off for the Dodgers here in the home half of the fourth. And Garvey strikes out swinging. So one down now. Ron Say. Say grounded out in his first at bat. And this time he'll fly out to Maddox for out number two. So two outs now for Dusty Baker. Dusty Baker fouled out to Stearns in his first at bat. And this time he'll pop out to Flynn at short, calls for it, and makes the catch. So the Dodgers go one, two, three in the fourth and remain scoreless as we head to the fifth. So we take a sip of iced coffee. Some homemade iced coffee. We like our iced coffee, right, Mr. Brody? We just like coffee in general. So Bobby Valentine will lead it off for the Mets here on the top of the fifth against Rao. He grounded it out in his first at bat. Gets one to hit here. And that's going to be a base hit past Lopes. As North files it... Throws it in quickly, holding Valentine to a single. So the lead off runner is on for the Mets here in the top of the fifth. Rowe trying to keep Valentine close. Garvey holds him on. Flynn tripled in his first at bat, but was left stranded there. And this time he'll pop up to third. Say calls everyone off. And makes the catch for out number one. Now we have the pitcher, Kuzman. Let's see what he does. He's most likely going to probably try to lay one down here to get the runner in scoring position. Say and Garvey in on the grass. Looks like he's going to hit away. And he'll swing and a miss for strike three. So two down now for L Lenny Randall. Grounded out in the first and walked in the third. And that's going to be a base hit down the line. Smith gets to it quickly and fires it in, holding Valentine at second. So to put runners on first and second, brings up Elliot Maddox, who's one for two so far. See if he can put the Mets on the board here. And he'll take a call, third strike. So Rao gets out of the jam. And halfway through, we're scoreless here in Los Angeles. So Kuzman back on the hill. He'll face Ferguson to lead it off. He walked in his first at bat. This is going to be a range check on his counterpart, Stearns. And it's in foul territory. And oh, he drops the foul ball. They're going to give him an error on that one. So he'll have a chance here. See if he can make the uh, Mets pay for that miss. So Stearns is given an Charge an error on the play. And another range check. So back-to-back -back range checks here. This one on Flynn. And that will prove costly as it's going to be a base hit. Flynn had no chance at that one. 
Oh, we got the rare play here. I wonder if this is going to be a throw behind here. <laughs> and another throw behind the back. And another Mets runner. No, Dodger runner, actually, this time. As Ferguson gets thrown behind and he is out of there too. So two plays in this game. Their base runners have gone too far beyond the bag and they've been thrown behind and gunned down. So it's even now. Each team has one. So Bill Russell up now. Flew out in his first at bat. Range check on the pitcher. Kuzman. A lot of range checks so far in this game. Oh, Kuzman and Aaron Machine will boot this one. So Ferguson getting thrown out. Could prove is looking big now as Russell gets a hit now. Or gets on an error, I should say. So Doug Robb now with a one down. I think we're going to have Rao. Going to have a bunt. See what kind of a bunter Rao is. He's an A bunter. He's definitely going to lay one down here. So Rao squares around. Beauty. And Montanez picks it up and tags Rao. So Rao gets the job done. So running Russell in scoring position now with two down. See if Lopes can deliver and put the Dodgers on top. And they're going to intentionally walk Lopes to get to North. No, it's grounded out twice so far. And that's going to be a pop-up to short. Flynn is there. And Dodge is unable to score. So we'll head to the sixth with the score. New York nothing, Los Angeles nothing. Good pitcher's duel so far. Between Rao and Kuzman. Henderson to lead it off. Henderson struck out in the first and grounded out in the third. And he will strike out in the sixth. So one down now from Montanez. Montanez one for two with a single back in the first. And he's going to get his second hit as this one's hit between North and Smith. That one's going to go to the wall. And he'll be at second with a stand-up double. So a one-out double from Montanez. Stern's up now. He's grounded out twice so far. Gets one in the wheelhouse here. And he's going to give this one a ride. Baker at the wall. At the fence. Going, going, and caught. So Dusty Baker saves at least a the run there. Possibly two. As that one was hit to the wall there. Just short of the track. Probably just one there. But definitely would have been extra bases. As Montanez has the scamper back. He was already around third. Has a scamper back to second. So two down now for Youngblood, who's one for two. And he strikes out, so Rao gets out of it. And we'll head to the home half of the six with no score by either team so far. So Reggie Smith will lead it off. He's 0 for 2 on the day. And he strikes out swing. Fourth K of the day now for Guzman. So one down now for Steve Garvey. Steve Garvey's intentionally walked in the first and struck out in the fourth. And Garvey's going to lay some base hit past Valentine. So one out single for Garvey. Just the third hit for the Dodgers today. So Ron Say 0 for 2 up to the plate now. We're going to go with a little, how is Says? I don't think Says, I think Says strikes out a lot. Yeah, he's not good at the hit and run. He doesn't strike out a ton, but he does enough. So we're just going to have him hit away. And he's going to lace a base hit. And we're going to hold Garvey at second. So runners on first and second with one down for Dusty Baker. See if he can put Dodgers on the board. He's 0 for 2 so far. Grounds this one to Valentine. Go over to second for one. Back to first. 
Not in time. So they get the middle runner. So they'll put runners at the corners with two down. So Joe Ferguson up to the plate now. He's one for one with a walk. And come on, eight. Nope, that's going to be a fly ball to right. Young Blood is there. And makes the easy catch to end the inning. The Dodgers had their best opportunity there. Unable to score. And after six full, it remains scoreless. So Bobby Valentine lead it off for the Mets. One for two on the day. Could be a range check on Ferguson. Uh, it's popped up. And he'll make the catch for out number one. So one gone in the New York seventh. Doug Flint up now. He's one for two of the triple. And he'll get a second hit. Base hit to center. So Garvey will hold him on. It brings up the pitcher, Kuzman. He'll most likely be pinch hit for, I would think, here. Let's see. No, he's going to lay one down now. Say picks it up and gets Kuzman by an eyelash. So a successful bunt by Kuzman will put Flynn in scoring position with two down. Lenny Randall up now. He's one for two with a single and a walk. And that's a ground ball to Say at third. Fires the first for the out. And that'll do it for the Mets in the top of the seventh. So seventh inning stretch time here in Los Angeles. Mr. Barodi, Miss Mags, and Purple Monkey with the trivia question. What team set an American League record with 111 wins? It's been broken twice in recent years. Wasn't that the Cleveland Indians? I want to say the Cleveland Indians. Hmm. What's the Yankees? I'm going to go with Cleveland. I just think it's Cleveland. So, all right. So, lock in your answers for this. We'll see what trivia question is here. Yeah, 54 Cleveland Indians lost only 43 games. So the Dodgers, we'll see if they can get to that um, record. I'm not sure what the National League record is for, for wins. I know the Seattle Mariners hold the American League record. But let's see what the National League record for wins is here. So National League record for... Wins in a season. So it is the Pittsburgh Pirates. Wow. Way back in 1909. I think. I think that's the season record right there. So. That is another reason to play for this, as the Dodgers could possibly, if the Dodgers can, let's see, 110 wins, they're 89, if they can go 21 and 8, they can break, they can tie, 21 and 8 will tie it, and 22 and 7 will break the National League record for wins. Oh no, I'm sorry, that's not right. <laughs> Nope, that is wrong. I was going to say, I didn't think that was it. That was just, uh, they just showed the top half of the records. It's actually the Chicago Cubs who hold the record with 116. I thought it was more than that. Oh, let's see if we can get it to fix itself here. Try that again. Oh, come on. Change it. There we go. Yeah, that's what I thought. Chicago Cubs and the Seattle Mariners hold the record with 116 wins. So, yeah. <laughs> I thought it was more than that. Um, actually, the Pittsburgh Pirates are the second highest win total in the National League with 110. Okay, that makes more sense. <laughs> Still, they still have a chance, though. So if they can win, they'd have to do extremely well, though. They would have to go. <laughs> let's see here. They would have to go 16, 26. Yeah, they would have to go 26 and 3. 
27, 27 and three actually the tie that would be kind of 27 and two actually so I mean it's still a chance but very very slim they'd have to like really do it well but anyway they could if they can if they can go a hundred and if they can win a hundred and eleven and beat the Pittsburgh Pirates record and then go on to win the World Series they will be the highest win total for a National League World Series winner which Pittsburgh does hold with um, in 1909 with 110 wins, in which they won the 1909 World Series. Now, if the New York Yankees, the New York Yankees there are the um, American League. So the New York Yankees won 114 wins in 1998. And uh, won the 1998 World Series. That's the highest total for a World Series winner. Um, so the Dodgers still have a chance at, at either one of those two records, possibly. But for the 1906 Chicago Cubs, that's going to be tough. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what we can do. We'll play it game by game. So anyway, so back to the action here. So very interesting there. So 116 is the win total. All right, so Bill Russell up now to lead it off in the bottom of the seventh here for the Dodgers. Still no score in this game. Kuzman back out there with 60, just 67 pitches through six innings. Very economical. Just 11 pitches an inning. Russell 0 for 2 on the day. Did reach on an error in the fifth by Kuzman. And he'll get a base hit. So leadoff runner is on for the Dodgers. Russell with very good speed. Montanez hold them on at first. We're going to try to attempt to steal here. Definitely not a hit and run. We're going to try to see if we can get the lead. If not, we're going to have Rao bunt. And yes, he's going to get it. Yeah, on a slow curve. He'll easily get in there. And the throw is way stern. He's going to end up in the outfield. So Russell will make his way to third. So excellent, excellent result there for the Dodger fans. The Dodgers fans are going to static here at Dodger Stadium as Russell steals second, advances to third on the throwing error by Stearns. That one no, nowhere near his mark. So Raul with a chance to put the Dodgers on top here and help his own cause here. We could try a squeeze, but... Hmm, do we want to try a squeeze? I don't think we really want to go with a squeeze here. No, we're not going to squeeze. <laughs> There's too many things that can go wrong. The infield is playing in, so we're going to have Rao just hit away. And he strikes out. Still only one out, though. So just the first out of the inning. So let's look at some scores here. Chicago in front of Houston, 4-1. to one. Atlanta ahead of Pittsburgh, 3-1. to one. Keeson hit a home run for Pittsburgh. Cincinnati ahead of St. Louis, 6-1. to one. Montreal beating San Diego, 5-1. to one. And Philadelphia over San Francisco, 4-1. to one. So Davey Lowe's with a chance to put the Mets on the board. I mean, the Dodgers on the board. That's going to be a ground ball. This should get the run home. Although infield is playing in. Nope, it's going to be a hit past the drawn-in infield. So it goes past Valentine. And Russell will come score the first run of the game. So Lopes with an RBI single puts the Dodgers on top. So North, I think we're going to have uh, Lopes try to steal here. Lopes with excellent speed. See if he can get the jump here. One to six. No, we won't attempt it. So let's check and see if Bill North can do hit and run. Bill no, only a C, so we're going to have him hit away. So North 0 for 3 on the day. And that's going to be a line out to Flynn for out number 2. Lopes heads, dives back to first. So it'll be of Reggie Smith. Reggie Smith struck out twice, 0 for 3 on the day against Kuzma. And this time draws the walk. So Lopes now in scoring position. Runners on first and second with two outs. Garvey one for two with a walk. 
And Garvey will fly out to Maddox to end the inning. But the Dodgers get on the board with an RBI single by Davey Lopes and lead it one nothing after seven. So Rao with 95 pitches through seven. Hmm. I think we're going to let him stay in there. There is action in the Dodger bullpen. Looks like Charlie Huff and Terry Forster are going to be loosening up in the pen. So Elliot Maddox lead it off for the Mets, now down by one as we head to the eighth. Maddox one for three on the day. Gets his pitch here. And lines a single pass to Dive Russell. So the tying run is on board for Steve Henderson. Gar Garvey holding on Maddox at first. Henderson 0 for 3 on the day. And it looks like Sergio Fur is going to come on and pinch run for, for the Mets. So Fur good with very good speed. So Russell looks in for the sign from Ferguson, looks at the runner, kicks and delivers. And it's going to be in the wheelhouse of Henderson. And he'll miss it for strike three. So he had a pitch to it there and just misses it. So one gone now in the Mets eighth. Brings up Montanez. Montanez has a couple hits off Rao. Two for three with a double. Hmm. See, Montanez is a lefty. I think we're going to bring in. Yeah, Forster is a lefty. I think we're going to bring in Terry Forster. He did pitch three innings in the actual game, and he is a lefty. So Doug Rao is going to come in out of the game, much to the appreciation of the fans. and give him a standing ovation. So he'll leave on with Fair, which is his responsibility at first. So Terry Forster comes in. Forster with a two and five record on the season, twelve saves, three three twenty three earn run average. Not quite as good a season as he did have in the actual season. He had twenty two saves with a one point nine four earn run average. So Forster lefty on lefty here. Forster looks in for the Simon Ferguson. He's, oh, looks like they're gonna pinch hit. No, nope, are they? Nope. He throws the first, and he's safe. Throws another throw. And extends his lead this time, and he's off with the next pitch. So do we send for the lead runner here? We're going to throw for him. And he will be out. So Farah is gunned down by Ferguson. A spot on throw there. Got him by quite a bit. So two down now. Now with the base is empty. Here's the pitch to Montanez. And that's a ground ball to Russell at short. Over to first. And that'll do it for the Mets in the eighth. So Forrester comes in and gets his job done. So we'll head to the bottom of the eighth now. Looks like we have... Oh boy. I don't even know who this guy is. Marty Cornejo. <laughs> comes in for the, uh, for the Mets here. In the actual season, he was 4-2 and two with three saves, a 2.45 earn run average in 37 innings, allowing 37 hits, 14 walks, 17 strikeouts, and one home run. In the replay so far, he's 1-0 and oh with one save with an 8.62 earn run average in 16 innings pitched, 28 hits allowed, 13 walks, and six strikeouts. So, hmm. Let's see if the uh, Dodgers can add to the lead here. So Randall and Montanez in on the grass. Against Say. Say one for three. Single back in the sixth. One for three. Lines this one to Valentine for out number one. So one gone in the Dodger eighth. Dusty Baker up now. He's 0 for three on the day. And lines this one to short. So two quick outs in the Dodger eighth. Brings up Joe Ferguson. Ferguson one for four, one for three on the one for two on the day actually. 
He walked in the second and singled in the fifth, reached on an error in the fifth, and flew out in the sixth. And this is going to be a range check on Flynn, who's now in at short. Doug Flynn at short now. Actually, he was in before. <laughs> Uh, that will be a successful range check, and that will retire the side for the Dodgers in the eighth. So we'll head to the ninth with the Dodgers with clinging to a one nothing lead. Forrester trying to shut the door here, trying to get a save. It's 13th of the season. There'll be Stearns, Youngblood, and Valentine. Stearns 0 for 3 on the day. And that's a ground ball to Russell at short. Up with it over to Garvey for out number one. So one gone in the Met ninth. Brings up Youngblood. He's got a single sandwich around a couple of strikeouts. And gets it. And that's going to be foul. Ferguson calls for it. And the wind takes it in the stands. Back in the box. And this time he's going to get a base hit. As Garvey tries to back in it and can't get the glove on it. So a one out single, tying runners on board for Bobby Valentine. It's one for three on the day. And Young Bud tries to get a lead here. Moves back to first. It's not getting very far from the bag. It's off the three call. And that's going to be a pop up to second. Lopes calls for it and makes a catch for out number two. So the Mets down the last out. Brings up Doug Flynn. He's got a pair, pair of hits today. Triple in the second and a single in the seventh. So Forrester looks in for the sign from Ferguson. He has the wind up in the pitch. And that is going to be a ground ball to third. Say up with it over to first. And the Dodgers defeat the Mets by a score of 1-0. Despite the New York Mets getting 10 hits. are unable to score. They did commit three errors. And... The Dodgers will get their 90th win of the season here on September 1st. So the Dodgers improve now to 90 and 44. And Doug Rao will get his 11th win, 11 and 6. Seven and a third innings pitched, nine hits allowed. Scattered, that's what you call scattering nine hits. One walk and nine strikeouts. Terry Forster gets a save, pitches an inning in two thirds for his 13th save. Allows one hit. Jerry Kuzman, the tough luck loser, falls to 5 and 14. It's pretty much the way his season's gone. Seven innings pitched, six hits allowed, one run, and that was an unearned run. So it's four walks and five strikeouts. So his ERA goes down to 2.83 now. Carreño came in to pitch the eighth, scoreless eighth, retiring all three batters he faced. So for the Dodgers, Davey Lopes, two for three with an RBI. Bill North, 0 for four. Reggie Smith, 0 for three. Steve Garvey, one for three. Ron Say, one for four. Dusty Baker, 0 for four. Joe Ferguson, one for three. Bill Russell, one for three with a run scored. Uh, Dave Lopes had the only RBI. Uh, Doug Rao, 0 for 2 with a sacrifice bunt. And Terry Forrester did not get in a bat. So for the Mets, again, scattered 10 hits. Lenny Randall, 1 for 3. Elliot Maddox, 2 for 4. Farrer came in as a pinch runner, did not get in a bat. Same Gil Flores, defensive replacement center, did not get in a bat. Steve Henderson, 0 for 4. Montanez, 2 for 4. John Stearns, 0 for 4. Youngblood, 2 hits also, 2 for 4. Bobby Valentine, 1 for 4. Doug Flynn, 2 for 4. Jerry Kuzman, 0 for 2. And Carnejo did not get in a bat. So player of the game is definitely going to be Doug Rao. I think, well, not definitely, but... Yeah, I think definitely. <laughs> yeah, we'll give it to Doug Rao. Possibility. Got a couple of votes for Davy Lopes, but in a pitcher's duel, you got to award the pitcher the uh, the MVP there, especially in a scoreless game. So Rao 
Seven and third scoreless innings, scattering nine hits, one walk, and nine strikeouts for his 11th win of the season. So that is it. So the Dodgers improve to 90 wins now. There we go. Take one more look at the standings here. So the Dodgers now with a 14 and a half game on Houston as Houston loses today. So the magic number is now 15. It's 90 and 44. Philadelphia has won three in a row. They won today. And Pittsburgh has lost four in a row. So they fall to six and a half games behind. And Montreal wins holding steady at eight games behind. The Cubs also win remaining eight and a half games behind. So that is it. So thank you for joining me. It's been Eric from Higher Ground Gaming. And I think we're going to continue this series here with the Los Angeles Dodgers as they, I believe, face the New York Mets once again. Let me check here. See who their next opponent is. So, yeah. That was a game from Friday, September 1st. So Saturday, September 2nd, they will face the Mets again. And it will be Mike Bruhart going for the New York Mets against Burt Hooten for the Dodgers. So join us in game two of the series. Where the Dodgers will go for the 91st win of the season. So take care and God bless. Bye-bye now.